What's good with y'all? It's your boy Cameron in the video. Straight like that, man. Comment down below what you want to see the next one. Like, subscribe if you brand new, man. We on demon time as usual, bro. Make sure you follow your boy on Instagram at ColdHardCam, bro. Discord link in the description. Let's go ahead and hop into the video, man. So check this out. 95% of men suffer uh, suffer from fumble-itis. What is fumble-itis? Fumble-itis is not knowing what to say to a girl in the moment, bro. You walk up to her and you, uh, 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 you freeze up and then you fumble the bag, bro. You probably could have had like 10, 20 more females, bro, added to your count or whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you just didn't fumble, if you actually knew what to say in the moment. A lot of y'all just, y'all froze on, you froze up, bro. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all the best conversation starters to use, so that way you don't ever have to worry about what to say to a girl and none of that bullshit. So let's go ahead and get into it, bro. The first thing that you have to understand about starting combos with females, I know a lot of dudes will be on YouTube be talking about, oh, talk about this and this and that. Before we even get to what to talk about, you have to find out what works for you. There's a whole bunch of different archetypes in niggas, bro. You got funny niggas. You got chill, laid back niggas. You got a whole bunch of different archetypes, bro. Like, for example, me, right? When it comes to, you know, back when I was, you know, back when I was single, back when I was really, you know, talking to girls, I was a catch and shoot kind of player, right? My archetype was catch and shoot. What does that mean? That means that I've always been a cool, chill, laid back dude and I just let things come to me. You know what I'm saying? They pass me the rock, I'm just going, hey, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I may not be taking them off the dribble or nothing like that, but when I get the rock, I'm finna shoot it. I'm finna splash on some Chris Move type shit, bro. All right? So I've always been a catch and shoot kind of chill dude. I let conversations come to me. All right, and this ain't, I'm not trying to say this to sound cool or nothing like that, bro, but I'm just saying, I've always been a cool, chill, laid back type of person. And so, you know, conversations usually come to me. When it came to females, bro, I'm not gonna lie, they usually came up to me more times than not. I say eight out of 10 times, they came up to me or they made it so easy for me to talk to them that it was almost awkward if I didn't talk, if I didn't say uh, or start a conversation, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, they might ask my name, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe if I was at a party, then maybe they would just started dancing on your boy, throwing it back on me, you know what I'm saying? Then, of course, it's easy to talk to somebody after they done did that already, you know what I'm saying? So, for me personally, girls always usually came to me, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or somehow I was in a situation to where the conversation, like, I didn't have to go up to the girl most times, bro, right? And that might be you. If you like me, that might be you. And all you have to do in that situation is make sure that you're in the right spots, right? What does that mean to be in the right spots? To be in the right spots means to always be in a position to where you seem approachable. So if you had a party or something like that, right? Being approachable don't mean sitting up in the corner, you know what I'm saying, on some Cardi Ken Carson shit, bro, you mysterious, got your hoodie on, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you got your cup in hand, you know what I'm saying, looking at your phone. That's not approachable. What female want to approach somebody like that? They ain't going to approach nobody like that. Oh, but I'm mysterious. Yeah, but you're a little bit too mysterious, bro. They don't know who you are and don't care. They thought that you was a decoration, a Halloween decoration that they accidentally left up in the spring. All right? You got to be approachable by being in the party. Go dance. You know what I'm saying? If you got some homies, talk to your homies. Just be loose. Have loose body language. You know what I'm saying? That's how you put yourself in the best situation to let conversations come to you, right? And don't be thinking about females. See, when I let girls come to me, it wasn't because that was a strategy or a tactic. That's just who I was. I wasn't instantly thinking about females whenever I walked into any room, okay? I wasn't thinking about, oh, this and this. And... No, I was just thinking about having fun. I was just thinking about doing whatever I was there to do. And things just happened to go that way. Females just happen to come over so that's how you gotta really think about it if that's your archetype now you might be a different archetype you might be a jokey kind of laugh you might be the class clown if you're the class clown you can go out to females and make a joke and you can make them laugh somehow bro like you can tell you can say any kind of joke bro whatever you know what i'm saying maybe you you do do, do. i don't i don't know what you are i don't know who watching this video whatever you are bro lean into that and use that to your advantage because when you try to use a pickup line and stuff like it don't work because that's not you and it come off awkward and it come off weird Ain't nobody trying to listen to like, 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 what's a corny pickup line? I don't know. Comment a corny pickup line. But you know what I'm talking about. Don't use that shit, bro, at all. I'm looking at my notes. Hold on. I forgot to write that shit down. Hold on. Find your archetype. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, I'm like a catch and shoot kind of player, bro. What's your archetype? You got to figure that out first and foremost. All right. Secondly, now I'm going to give y'all some things that you could actually use practically, right? So like y'all probably like, okay, but Cam, what specifically do I say? Even though, you know, me giving you specifically things to say is not really going to help you. The biggest thing that's going to help you is what I just told y'all, which is to lean into your own personality. But if you really just that stuck, I'm going to give y'all a couple of things that you could do. The first thing that you could do, right? Ask her name. That is a great conversation starter. Cam, that's too easy, bro. When it comes to this type of stuff, bro, 
you don't have to overthink it. Too many of y'all overthink, oh, what I got to say this and this and that. Bro, half the time, she's going, bro, look, your energy is going to speak for itself. All right. So if you go up to her and ask her name, like, hey, like, what's your name? And you got a limp handshake, like you clearly nervous, your voice is shaking, your voice cracked or something like that. Then obviously she's not going to fuck with you. And the conversation is going to be very difficult because she's going to look down on you like, huh, he nervous to even approach me. She's going to look at you like a straight peon. All right. But if you go up to her comedy, like, yo, like, um, my name is Cam or my name is so-and-so. What's your name? Oh, my name is this. Shake hands, whatever, whatever. All right. Boom. Easy conversation starter. Now you just slide into conversation at that point. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like you from around here, like blah, blah, blah. You can get into small talk. Now here's the thing about small talk, right? Small talk is not meant to be the whole combo. Small talk is just a platform for a deeper conversation. All right. Small talk is supposed to launch you into a deeper conversation. It's just a pre, it's like the loading screen, right? Right. So small talk is the loading screen, right? It ain't the main game, all right? So you want a loading screen right here, boom. But when you get into the actual game, you know what I'm saying? That's like a deeper convo. That's the real shit, bro. You use small talk to figure out what y'all have in common, so what can y'all talk about? That's an easy, easy way to start a conversation with any female and to keep it going, dog. Use small talk to your advantage. Don't shy away from it because I know it's boring, right? Oh, what's your favorite color? What's your where you get those shoes from? Oh, how much did this cost? How much did that cost? Like, bro, I know it's boring. I know you don't actually care about that shit. And I know she don't actually care about that shit. But you don't have to make it boring. You know what I'm saying? Put your personality even into the small talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to say the same thing word for word as somebody else, bro. You don't have to make it so scripted. However, you would say it, say it like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Practice too. My nigga. Don't be afraid to practice. Like when you in your own room, like really think about like, damn, like. What would I say? It don't even have to be female. Just in general, bro. Like, ask yourself, like, damn, what would I say to somebody, like, that I was interested in talking to? Like, you know, what's interesting about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, though, what's interesting about you? Like, add that to your conversation, bro. Like, there's no way that you just have no type of personality and you just a straight up gray blob square. You know what I'm saying? There has to be something about you that you could talk about. Something. Same thing for the person you're talking to. There has to be something interesting about them that made you want to talk to them. Which brings me to the next thing that you could really talk about, right? Uh, a next thing that you could really talk about is, uh, or not really talk about, a next conversation starter is giving a genuine compliment. Genuine compliment. Compliment. Boom. Genuine compliment. The reason why I say genuine compliment is because that's different from surface level validation. See, let me tell you all something. Surface level validation looks like, oh, hey, you're pretty. Oh, hey, you're cute. Oh, hey, you're like you're this, you're this, you're that. Surface level validation goes in one ear and out the other. Or in fact, that's not really what it does. For them, they take it. It, you, it gassed them up. Oh, he thinks I'm this. Oh, he thinks I'm that. And it just adds to their ego. And then they immediately look at you like, okay, like, I know he ain't got no game. Any nigga that go up to a female, he's like, immediately, oh, you so beautiful. Oh, you so this. Oh, you so that. You ain't got no game. I ain't even gonna lie. She's already thinking you don't have game. And she already is, can or not canceling you out, but she already counting you out because there's no chase involved. We know that women love to chase, but that's not just for, in general, that's conversations too. They love to chase in conversations. If you already tell her, hey, you're beautiful. Hey, you're this. Hey, you're that. Off rip, off the bat, then she already knows, oh yeah, I got him. There's no chase. There's zero mystery at all to you, bro. You already done gave up the car. You already showed your entire motherfucking hand. You showed every hand you had on the deck, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if you showing all your hands, how are you ever supposed to play the card? How are you going to play cards when you already put yourself at a disadvantage, right? So don't do them surface level uh, them surface level compliments and stuff like that. What I mean by a genuine compliment is like compliment something that you actually fuck with her for, bro. Think about the reason why you approach this girl. Oh, well, I approached her because I thought she was attractive. Okay, one genuine compliment is skincare, right? If you like how her face look, then you can be like, yo, like... You know what I'm saying? I just feel like you have really smooth skin. Like, I feel like you got smooth skin. Like, what products do you use? Because, like, no cap. Like, your skin is, like, mad smooth. I just wanted to let you know that because, like, I'm really trying to get on the same type of... You see what I'm saying? Like, and then immediately just, boom, hop in the conversation. Talk about our skincare. Because women understand that... They, my nigga, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Women have hundreds of skincare products at home. They can talk about that shit for hours. If you want to start a conversation with a female... Talk about her skincare, dog, because I guarantee she got thousands, if not millions, of skincare products at home, dog. That's all she do is skincare. All women do is self-care days, bro. They treat themselves, and they got all these lotions and 
washes and stuff. I'm telling you, I've seen it, okay? And so when you talk about her, uh, uh, talk about skincare wear, she's going to go over all these type of different types of things, bro, right? And you can really get into it. You know, she's going to talk about different lotions and different fragrances. And you could even segue that into, okay, like, what do you think is a good fragrance for, like, a guy? Like, what what, like, what would you put on me? You know what I'm saying? Like, how would you? You can segue it into, any, into a, a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? You could be like, oh, okay, like, you got a whole bunch of lotions and shit like that. Like, damn, like, I feel like you should really just start up a shop. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should really. Now you're getting into, like, deeper things. Oh, and then she's going to be like, oh, well, yeah, I thought about being a lash tech or a nail tech. She's going to get into all that type of shit. It's an easy, easy way, see, by using a genuine compliment to really get her to open up, right? But it don't have to just be skincare. Let's say, let's keep it all the way at being. You approach this girl because she thick as hell. She thick. You know what I'm saying? Damn, she got some ass on her, whatever. You don't have to go up to her and be like, damn, like, you thick as hell. Like, no, you don't have to be like, and I ain't going to lie, that's not going to get you nowhere. So don't ever do that shit, bro. But if you think that a girl has a nice figure, all you have to say is work out, right? All you have to say is, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? You look like you really work out. Like you, how much, like how much you bash, bro? Or don't, have, don't be like how much you bash, but just be like, yo, like, I feel like you really work out a lot. Like you, you been working out, you go 24 hours. Simple as that, bro. Boom. Work out, right? Compliment her and be like, yo, like, like I can feel like I can tell you can go to the gym. Like, you, are you an athlete? You know what I'm saying? Something like that. It's a compliment, but it's not so surface level. It's not like, oh, hey, you're pretty. And then she just says, thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that, it's not that surface level. When you mention these things, you're like, oh, dang, you an athlete? Like, dang, you be working, like, you be working out a lot, huh? Like, like, what's your routine? When you say these things, it's not just gonna give you a yes or no or, or a thank you response, right? That's the problem with a lot of niggas. They be giving compliments and stuff like that. And all she gonna say is thank you. Not just in person, but in the DMs. I see this shit all the time. They say thank you. And then you think you did something just because she said thank you. That don't mean shit, bro. They give out thank yous all day, every day. Give her something to work with. Give her something that she can say something more about. You know what I'm saying? So give her a genuine compliment. Now, let's say it's none of these things, really. You know what I'm saying? Or let's say that you just don't have the confidence to do either one. You don't have the compliment, the, the confidence to compliment her directly. One of the easiest things that you can do, bro, and everybody can do this, bro. You don't even have to have skill or nothing to do this, bro. Compliment her energy. Compliment her energy. Listen, dog. We already know that these females be on Scorpio, Virgo type shit, but she don't even have to come on no astrology shit. You don't have to come on no astrology shit at all. She'll probably bring that up herself. But all you have to do is this. If you see a girl that you find attractive, walk up to her, be like, hey, my name is so-and-so, what's your name? Boom, right? Y'all start to talking or whatever. Or, or she give you her name or whatever, right? And then next, all you got to say is, okay, cool. Like, I just came over because I just felt like you had good energy. I felt like you had good vibes and I feel like we could have a cool conversation or something like that. Something of that nature. You can spin it however you want. Just let her know that she has a good vibe, good aura, good whatever you want to call it. And she'll be like, oh, thank you. And I guarantee nine times out of 10, she's going to be like, oh, it's because I'm a fucking Capri Sun. Oh, let me guess. You're a Virgo. Like some shit like that. She's going to talk about that type of stuff, bro. Right. Or she at least she will over the course of the conversation. But if you compliment her energy, if you compliment her vibes that's not like a it won't be it'll be more than a thank you because females take that shit serious they take energy and they vibes they take that shit serious my nigga they they, they dress in a certain way they give off a certain aesthetic like if you go to their instagram they got the everything put together bro so complimented like yo you got like a cool aesthetic like a cool like aura and like a cool energy like i feel like i feel like i don't know i feel like have i met you before like i feel like you, you look familiar like i don't know Simple as that, bro. Simple as that. You could use that shit and act for any female, bro, and they immediately probably gonna fuck with it, all right? So with that being said, oh, shoot, I almost forgot the last and most important thing. So everybody that clicked off, I ain't gonna lie, you done for, buddy, because this last thing is extremely important. <laughs> Shout out everybody that's still here watching the video, 14 minutes in, baby, all right? Last thing, expect nothing. Expect nothing. See, listen, fellas, I'm gonna keep it all the way of being. I'm not a motherfucker. Like, look, I can't be there and hold your hand. I can't be there to coach you. So what I'm going to say is this. You can do as best you can. You can do the best thing possible. You can use all these tips, all this advice. But at the end of the day, expect nothing, right? Don't expect her to sleep with you when you have a conversation with her, right? Because what happens is a lot of times you talk to a girl and you expect her to be uh, uh, on, some, on some horny type shit or you expect to be able to sleep with her, bro. Don't think that. Don't even have that shit in mind. Talk to her on some real shit. Like, 
actually talk to her because you're genuinely interested in talking to her, first of all. But also, on the flip side, don't expect that, you know, she's going to want to talk to you. Sometimes, girls is going to reject you, bro. That's just part of life, bro. Niggas get rejected every day. It don't mean that you ugly. It don't mean that you unattractive, bro. What the fuck is on my hoodie? It don't mean you ugly. It don't mean you unattractive, bro. All it means is that she just wasn't feeling you. Looks are subjective, all right? Whether she want to talk to you or not is subjective. Not every girl is going to want to talk to you, bro. And you just got to charge that shit to the game, all right? So, but anyway, make sure y'all take notes. Make sure y'all take a picture, a screenshot. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, follow on Instagram and all that, all right? And that's all I got for y'all, boys. I'm out of here, man. Peace.